Today, I'm going to show you how to build a fascinating fading LED circuit using a BC547 transistor. Unlike a normal LED that switches instantly on and off, this circuit creates a smooth fade effect, just like the lights you see in modern gadgets. First, I'll take a BC547 transistor and prepare it for soldering, and apply a thin layer of solder on all three pins so the connections are strong and reliable. Now, I'll bring in a 3-volt LED. The negative pin of this LED will be soldered directly to the collector pin of the transistor. Next, I'll attach a 10 kilo ohm resistor to the base pin of the transistor. This resistor plays a critical role because it controls the current going into the base and helps regulate the switching action. I'll also solder a 1 kilo ohm resistor to the positive pin of the LED to limit the current and protect the LED from burning out. To make the circuit interactive, I'll place a touch switch between the two resistors. This switch will act as the trigger. When touched, it will allow the capacitor and transistor to do their magic. Speaking of capacitors, here comes the 100 UF capacitor. I'll solder its negative pin to the emitter of the transistor and its positive pin to the resistor connected to the base of the transistor. The capacitor is what makes the fading effect possible by slowly charging and discharging. Now it's time to add the power source. I'll solder the positive wire of a 3.7 volt battery to the 1 kilo ohm resistor and the negative wire to the emitter of the transistor. With everything connected, let's test the circuit. When I press the touch button, the LED glows. But instead of switching off instantly, you'll notice it slowly dims out, giving us that smooth fading effect. This happens because the capacitor releases its stored charge gradually, controlling the transistor and LED brightness over time. At first, I used a 1 kilo ohm resistor for the LED so the brightness wasn't too high, but then I replaced it with a 270 ohm resistor, and now the LED glows much brighter while still keeping that fading effect. This shows how we can tweak the circuit easily to change brightness levels. The capacitor stores energy when you press the switch and then discharges slowly through the transistor. This gradual flow of current makes the LED fade instead of turning off sharply. You can use this circuit in decorative lighting projects, as a soft indicator light for electronics, and in DIY night lamps.